All right, you are still watching Ways every year on September 30th, International Translation Day is celebrated to honor trans translation experts who have um, connect uh, society, who help connect society. It is the feast day of Saint Jerome, um, the Bible translator, who is also known as the patron saint of translators. So. My sister, once in a while, she does translations from French to English. You know, she helps people transcribe. I think that's the word. Yes. She does transcribe. So, have you ever done any form of translation? Well, you are a legal person. You always translate We always documents. do, if, if you put it in that sense. But aside from that, what language can I really speak? <laughs> Fluently. Fluently English. So, you can't speak your Isan? Mm. I try, but it's not fluent. And then I speak a little bit of French. But you're not able to translate um, ASAN into English. So if somebody was talking to you and all of that. Yes, I would understand. Mm. Yes. But okay. if you go hardcore. Forget me. I move. <laughs> <laughs> Forget me. Yeah. All you selfie people that are taking selfie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what did you find for us in the news? <laughs> well, today has been a day. Anyways. What did I find in the news? Edo State demolishes 90 houses for new town project. So um, it says that uh, about 90 houses were demolished in Benin on Thursday by the Edo State government, saying the moves were meant to reclaim 1,229 hectares of land meant for the development of a new town project in the city. So the demolition is coming barely 24 hours after the government declared a 24-hour cur curfew in um, Ugege Benin. The State Commissioner for Communication and Orientation, Chris Nehikari, at a press conference on Thursday, said that the state government acquired the land in 2017 and warned all those who encroached on the land to stop working at different times. He said that the Edo state government has dislodged land grabbers along the Ugege Road to make room for the development of a new town project. The affected area is land measuring 1,229 hectares. So the repossession exercise is part of Governor Godwin Obaseki's renewed campaign against land grabbing in the state, aimed at restoring sanity in land administration in Edo State. Hmm. I I mean support. Well, what see what is right is right. What is wrong is wrong. So for me, I just think that, especially when they said you, um, they won them, it's just that the country is hard enough. So if you're demolishing 90 houses, you have displaced 90 families. So that's, my heart goes out to these people. But make with a hear word for Nigeria. Mm. Let's listen. You understand? If you want to build a house, then do the proper thing. You know, get a land survey. Measure out your your land and when you go and do a search at the land registry they will always tell you which land belongs to the government and which land belongs to you mm -hmm. so you don't build outside of what you have yeah. so as sad as this is this had to happen and you know you know the funny thing is it's going to go around nigeria it's not only benin city we're going to see it in lagos very soon because now they are um, trying to build more roads in lagos state meaning they're going to be claiming more land you know so a lot of people will be displaced in the nearest future yeah. sadly there's an assigned, um, there's an aside, assigned what is called setback that must happen, especially for people that own lands on major highways. Yeah. I remember when Fashola was doing the Lagos Badagri Expressway, you know that road, you know there was a lot of back and forth, but he was able to compensate the families, right? Yeah. So there should be some comp compensation, some compensations, plan. especially if it is reclaimed land for buildings and all of that. Mm. But I was going to say that, honestly speaking, I'm from Edo State. I mean, both of us are from Edo State. Yes. I'm from Benin particularly and wow. every time i go home i, I actually it breaks my oh heart my like, because God. nothing mean, changes do you know and again you just see mud everywhere when it's raining you see flood everywhere I'm not i wondering don't what know exactly it's like a yeah, red sand is synonymous to a do state like if you I, just see red sand just know that you're in a do state well, like, anytime i'm going to be mean if i have anything say i'm going for a funeral or a wedding or whatever sneakers i not just sneakers black Sneakers. sneakers. Mm. <laughs> Nobody's even playing. Because with I mean, anything. it doesn't make any sense mm. that you. I mean, I just really hope that they can get it right in terms of how landscape. Yes, we need serious planning, yeah. town planning, town in planning. Yeah, they, they right it's up horrible. till date. It's horrible. It's, it's horrible. horrible. It's horrible. So if the demolition would yeah. eventually birth 
a better then planned perhaps space. Perhaps it would have been worth it. Be worth it. But the minute you enter Benin, you know the first thing I say is nothing has changed. Like you can go away for twenty years and, and you come, come back, back and it's the same. Thing. It's not the same. It deteriorates. Deteriorates. Yes. Yeah. You know. Sad. Sad. Very sad. All right. So my story is just. Uh, I found it very interesting that Lagos State suspends its plans plant safety audit for co-working spaces and tech hubs so apparently mm. they had um planned to find i think um build tech hubs yes yeah, so, yes uh, tech hubs you know like um f they call it safety audit fees right mm. to 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 go and audit the the buildings the safety audit fees so they had planned that you know these tech hubs were going to pay a revenue of one hundred and fifty thousand um naira that's uh, equivalent of 347 dollars mm -hmm. you know but i think um the tech guys went online you know now and i didn't get online <laughs> and they were they made a lot of um, noise. noise about it and saying that this is over taxation you know and you know because they have been complaining about lagos state government they had accused lagos state government of over taxation you know uh, um, uh, and you know because tech is a booming ecosystem mm -hmm. in nigeria okay so they feel that they're so trying to exploit you're just them exploiting them that's what they're feeling so the lagos state government after hours after this um uh, what's it called they suspended the uh, what's it called the tax fee although they clarify that the fee is statutorily associated with facilities that engage and welcome members of the public beyond a certain foothold in many businesses and civic sectors this includes restaurants cinemas um, event spaces school clubs and the statement reads that the lagos state further explained that the fee is set to cover the cost of safety inspection right so and audits with expert and specialized equipment so it's well spelled <laughs> out <Sha. laughs> but we all know you know they had done set back uh, revenue that they mm -hmm. said eighty thousand per car huh. that one said it's still there somewhere and not just only houses or so event centers and all of that so somebody was saying the other day now he came he said ah, his friend that owned it and event yeah, center said he was going to shut down because down. how would you generate eighty thousand per car space it doesn't make any sense right like so i mean thinking so hopefully um we'll see how it goes you know a lot is happening in the tech space people are actually it's know, a booming industry it's a fantastic it's the future like if i just turn here like this well, i'm starting yeah the if i don't know yeah i say well, me money we have to first start a look at you i'm <laughs> gone <laughs> already <laughs> i'm there <laughs> you know so it's a booming industry and i think i mean it would really help if the government yeah be clearly see do it you know in a way that, that you are also not encourages yes, them you're not you know? you're not giving them the, the feeling that you know what i think they're being, being exploited they're being exploited let it be so done. like we always say in other areas Absolutely. just create you know an a, enabling business an enabling environment, environment Absolutely. for because growth after you have suffered and everything yeah. you now start to deal with government agencies it's really it's not a, funny it's really terrible all yeah. right so let's go on a break let's discuss small businesses and the tech uh, i say tech uh -huh. and customer experience <laughs> stay with us we'll be right back <laughs>